Now in this video, folks, we have Mr. Corey Harris. You may remember him as the guy from the massively viral video where he appeared in court while driving and was appearing for a suspended license. Now, as a result of him appearing in Zoom court while driving while on a suspended license, he was actually locked up. His bond was revoked. Uh, it was all over the news, all over the world. Yeah, I'm watching it here from Ireland, so it just goes to show how viral this went. Anyway, Mr. Harris came back to court. There were some issues there. There's tons of videos out there about this. But he was back in court again today, and it was an absolutely beautiful moment between him and the judge. Uh, it, it ends in one of the most awesome ways that I've ever seen a court case like this end. So I think you guys are absolutely going to love this. A little bit of a tearjerker, I'm not going to lie. And before you ask, yes, I do indeed have the video of him dancing when he got his driver's license. So check this out. Let me know what you think down below. Mr. Hello. Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So so I'll, just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Wait. You stationary? I'm pulling yeah. in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. Okay. So maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Uh, that is with the charges, Your Honor, yes. No, I'm looking at yes. his record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. Oh. Hello? One minute, Mr. Harris. I don't even know why he would do that. So, defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Court calls the case, People versus Corey Harris. All right, so on behalf of Pittsfield Township. May it please this honorable court, Dion Webster Cox, on behalf of Corey Harris. And we have good news. All right, yeah, I know. Go ahead, I'll let you say it. My client has his license, Your Honor. That's fine. He's had it for a while. Yes, and see, we what did we do? We moved forward, focused on the positive, and now here we are. We can proudly stand before this court and say we did it. Okay, we did. Yes, so, he did. Yes, we all did. It was a collaborative effort. So twenty-four years late, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. We got there. We're here. Congratulations, so, Mr. Harris. Thank you. Better so, late than never. That's right. Wasn't I saying that at the beginning? I was. <laughs> Absolutely. That's all I wanted. I told you that from the very beginning, Mr. Harris. All I wanted you to get your license. Exactly. And thank you. I just wish it could have. <sighs> thank you. You're welcome. You just helped me out speed speed up the process a little bit faster. Thank you. You're you were hard headed though. Yes, I'm. Yeah, you were hard headed, right? 
my okay. mother and my and, and my wife tell tells me this daily that you're hard headed. Yes, yes, and you showed it to not only me but the whole world <laughs> that you're hard headed. And all I wanted to do, if you had left at that first day, you know, after the first hearing. I had to, I revoke your bond. You came here. You do follow what I said. And I didn't have, you know, because I didn't really have a problem with you. If after you had left the jail and if you had just gone to the second, did what you did, we'd have been done with this so long ago. Really. And, and ultimately, when it all said and done, that's all I wanted. That, that is all I wanted. I just needed you to have your license. Mission accomplished. So. And it feels good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it feels good you're not looking over your shoulder all the time, right? Exactly. It's amazing how that works. All right. And I did, not that I'm a social media person because I don't watch social media, but I saw him do his little dance out there in front of the Secretary of State. That was after his training, after he passed the test. After he passed the test. So we were documenting the process. Right? And, and as long as, and I knew, so like I said on the record, I kind of said it a little quip and a little snarky and probably shouldn't have said it that way. But I knew if he just passed a written test, the driving thing wasn't going to be a problem because he had been doing that for 24 years. So it didn't, hey, he was going to be able to pass that part. Of the test. <laughs> All right. So... So we're, With the newly vamped Mr. Harris. Yeah, and we're all happy about that. So I will keep my promise. And if you would like to admit double parking today, you can do that. And if you accept it, Your Honor, I move to dismiss the more serious misdemeanor charge. And he will absolutely admit responsibility to double parking right. on that faithful in October. Mr. Harris. I can play here. Mr. Harris, on do you admit responsibility to the fact that on October 7th, 2023, location of Ellsworth Road near Laura Road, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan, that you double parked in the vehicle? Yes. Satisfied. The court will accept the defendant's plea to count two. Count one is dismissed. Anything you want to say before I impose fines and costs? Uh, Your Honor, my client has, I'm asking that the fines be um, as much as this court can, because he, he and his wife are both um, out of work, and they've been working, diligently trying to find work, but um, it's just things are financially, the margins are, and as a result, we're just asking that court in addition to what the court has already done. that So after all this, you're asking me to do something nice? I am. You know I'm going to ask. That's what I do. Oh. Do I do nice things? I don't. No, I don't. Oh, thanks. thanks for volunteering that task. Mr. Harris? Yes, sir. Throughout this whole thing, outside of the driver's license, everything else, tell me what you learned that you think makes you a better person now. What I've learned is, is just pretty much stay focused, stay on task, and do not look back and just go on out here and just handle handle things right then and there. And then that way, I don't have to worry about any, anything crazy later. And thank you very, very much for teaching, teaching me that hard lesson. Maybe one day we'll meet out on the street and under better circumstances.
just keep your car in the lane. Don't be running into my truck. Oh. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna be just good. I'll drive right. I know we have 20 some odd years of you doing that. That's actually pretty good. All right. Find the cost of $180. Mr. Harris, I don't know why I'm doing this. It is absolutely against my better thought, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to waive the entirety of the 180 and of fines and costs. Thank you. You're Thank all you set. So Thank Welcome. you, Ron. Can I shake your arm? I know. I don't think you can touch them. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. All right. You're welcome. Just do the right thing. Right. Okay. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. That's all your people around the courtroom waiting for you? Did they think you were going to get locked up again? <laughs> That's your daughter. That's her. Her daughter, this is my wife. That's your wife. So she came to make sure you didn't get locked up again. <laughs> she kept you straight. All right. Oh, yeah. Little. <laughs> okay. Take care. Hello. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs>